we have recently witnessed an increase in the use of photovoltaic plants and wind turbines which produce clean electric energy from renewable sources like sun and wind and which reduce greenhouse gases and protect the environment. More frequently, the media reports that some days energy demand is almost entirely met by renewable energy source plants across Europe including Germany, Denmark, the UK, Portugal and in part Italy. Although the production of energy from renewable sources has a positive impact on the environment, the main challenge is the intermittence of these sources, which are non-programmable due to their nature. Renewable energy generation capacity is often not temporarily aligned with energy consumption. Just think, most winter consumption occurs in the early evening when the sun has already set. Moreover, most renewable energy plants are located in rural areas, far from the end consumers. Due to limited capacity of power grids, not all energy produced in daylight hours can be delivered where it's necessary. An example of this is found in Italy, where most photovoltaic plants are located in the south, whereas industrial districts in the north have the highest energy demand. That's why, on a windy day, some wind turbines are still. The grid is not able to carry all the energy produced. How can we overcome the challenge of the increasing incidence of renewable energy production, often intermittent and insufficiently aligned in space and time with energy consumers? Ingrid is trying to answer this question. Ingrid is a research project co-funded by the European Union within the Seven Framework Programme for Research and Technological Development and implemented by a consortium of eight partners from Belgium, France, Italy and Spain. The challenge is to identify the most promising solutions and fully exploit investment in cleaner energy, something that all of us have supported through the Clean Energy Bill. Energy storage systems currently represent one of the solutions, with excellent potential in the medium term, even if costs are high at the moment and do not justify their widespread implementation. The Ingrid project built a large size pilot demonstrator plant for solid state hydrogen storage located in Troia municipality in the Foggia region of Puglia. Italy's leading area in the production of energy from wind and solar sources. Ingrid aims to identify the regulatory and market conditions through which suitable management and control policies on hydrogen storage can become cost effective. At the Ingrid plant, renewable energy surplus, non consumable locally nor transportable temporarily, is used to power a large electrolyzer producing hydrogen by water electrolysis. The hydrogen produced is then captured and stored as a salt, a magnesium hydride, in the form of porous and modular sponges. Subsequently, hydrogen can be transported directly in a solid state and once extracted from the sponges, supplied to industrial users are used as fuel to support zero emissions mobility. Otherwise, the stored hydrogen can feed a nearby gas grid. Alternatively, when the grid load conditions allow it, fuel cells transform the hydrogen back into electrical energy in order to provide added value services to electrical energy distributors with the objective of ensuring greater stability and stronger integration of renewable energy sources. Ingrid will unveil the role of hydrogen-based technologies in supporting renewable energy integration. It will also offer a more systemic and collaborative vision of energy grids, electricity, gas, aiming to decarbonize the energy value chain, creating efficiency in more than a single grid or energy carrier.